So just 24 hours before their Battle of Britain showdown, Carl Froch has dismissed his opponent as a chump who is going to get flattened. While the Cobra from Nottingham today squared up to London fighter George Groves at a heated weigh-in. Well, Froch again hit out at Groves, not literally, that comes tomorrow, uh, for not showing him enough respect ahead of their world title bout in Manchester tomorrow night. Our correspondent Peter Bean was there. The waiting is over. This is the official weigh-in for Eddie Hearn's Battle of Britain. It's the only show in town and everyone wants a piece of the action. Looking on, a man who knows all about world titles. If the Cobra's punches are as accurate as his darts, George Groves will be in trouble. Certainly, Froch's followers are supremely confident. Round eight, he's going to knock him out after he's pummeled him, taught him a lesson, then finish him. Nothing to worry about from, Gro from Groves at all? No. No. Froch all the way. First on stage, the young pretender. Then the defending champion, at 11 stone 13, a pound heavier than his opponent. And an exchange of words before they exchange blows to more. So Carl, you've described Groves as an embarrassment, as a chump. Has he got under your skin a bit? Only a very little bit, but it won't affect my performance. A little whisper in his ear, I, I imagine that wasn't sweet nothing as you were whispering there. Can you tell us what you said to him? I can't tell you what I said now because it's out on um, daytime television, but I didn't invite him around for Sunday lunch. All the hard work's done now. As far as I'm concerned, Carl's at ease. Now my worrying starts. Carl is the complete professional. He's always confident. He always trains to perfection. So he'll, he'll be ready. So, predictions from the men in the middle? He struggled to acknowledge my achievements and that um, I'm a worthy opponent. So uh, I'm going to do my best to teach him a humble lesson tomorrow. Somewhere between round one and 12, when I start to catch him with my shots, he's getting flattened. It's as simple as that. So Carl Froch has made the weight. The only extra weight he's carrying now is the weight of expectation. The bookies expect him to win. The fans expect him to win. And of course, he expects to win. All he has to do now is deliver. Peter Bean, ITV News, Manchester. It's lively, isn't it? Very lively. Heated. Yes. Should be a good fight. And they're not having Sunday lunch together. Yeah. I'm clearly. shocked. Now the eyes of the world, bo world of boxing will be on Manchester tomorrow night as world super middleweight champion Carl Froch takes on George Groves in a hotly anticipated clash. Now, although Froch hails from Nottingham, our region can lay claim to playing its part in preparing him for tomorrow night's fight. Froch trains at Sheffield's English Institute of Sport alongside the great British Olympic team. The facilities here are second to none, they're fantastic. If, if I was training in this environment as an amateur, I dare say I'd have gone to the Olympics and, and maybe won a medal. I mean, I won a medal in the World Championships and I just missed out on the Sydney Olympics. But I was travelling now to London for a weekend training session at the, the old Crystal Palace. Um, and it's nothing like this. The, the facilities here are brilliant. And it's a jolly noisy sport tonight too. I'm fast, I'm healthy. He's had a lot to say, you've all heard what he's had to say, it's been quite embarrassing to be honest. I think he believes that I'm going to get in there and run from him, but Carl, you're wrong. I'm going to come out, I'm going to meet you. Ridiculous, that's all I can say. Embarrassing. What's pathetic. Embarrassing? What's pathetic? You are. He's fighting for himself, and he's losing. How can you lose yourself? The job I'm going to do on Saturday night is going to be a very pleasurable one, not just for me, but for all the fans and all the viewing public. This is where I belong, and I'm going to be world champion. You get in annihilated on Saturday night, everybody knows it, I know it, and you know it. You're getting absolutely quiet here. Cold one. Oh, tremendous action. 
action in the last 30 seconds. Wow, well look at the crowds here. There must be well over a thousand for this weigh-in. And earlier at the weigh-in, sparks were really flying between Froch and Groves yet again. Well, one man who has covered Carl Froch's career for well over a decade is Mark Shardlow, and he's been catching up with Carl. What do you reckon? Oh, it's brilliant. It's unbelievable. It's a lot better than when I used to turn up years and years ago. There was 10 people for the weigh-in. Obviously, the weigh-in is all part of the event, so people love to the come to the weigh-in. You know, there was verbals there again. Oh, there's going to be verbals, because that's the first time I've had a, had a chance to talk to George Groves without a microphone attached to me. So every time I talk to that idiot, they pick it up. And I know this is daytime TV, so I'm going to watch my words. But every time I talk to him, I'm mic'd up. That's the first time I've had a chance to tell him what I think of him and tell him what's going to actually happen to him. You said you were going to flatten him yesterday. No, I'm going to flatten him. Yeah, I'm going to do a lot worse than that if he gives me the chance, if the referee gives me the chance and if his corner man don't pull him out. So you're very confident and in, in the mood? Is that a trick question? Yeah, yeah. You know I'm confident, Mark, and you know I'm going to do the business. Good stuff. Well done, Carl. Pleasure. Congratulations. All the best. Thank you. Well, Carl is a huge Nottingham Forest fan. Of course, it's a big weekend for them too in the Championship. They take on top of the table Burnley with news of that and the rest of the day's football news. Here's Angela Rafferty. 10 for the Reds, but still ready to wish one of their biggest fans all the best. Come on. You've got the, you've got the support of uh, everybody here at Forest. We wish you all the very best. Go and do your stuff what you normally do and uh, hopefully we'll be celebrating along with Carol and his team after this very important fight and uh, we wish him all the best so come on, go and do it. Well, one man who knows Carl Froch very well is the heavyweight legend David Hay, who's with me now. Is this hatred genuine or is it just all the part of the panto of boxing? No, one thing I can guarantee is you know, the dislike for each other is uh, pretty genuine. They, um, for a while now, they've, they've been sort of digging at each other. But the fact now that they've got a, a fight against each other, they sort of uh, put it all out, out there for the world to see. And these, these, this is a genuine grudge match. Clearly, um, Carl is Britain's best at the moment. Um, George Graves hasn't lost a professional yeah. fight. What can we expect tomorrow night? You can expect fireworks. Both of these guys have the ability to beat each other. You know, Carl Froch, I believe, is one of the Britain's best exports. He fought the best on the planet, gone to their backyard, and always produced the goods. You know, and um, George hasn't yet. This is the opportunity to, to prove to the world that he's as good as uh, Carl is. He believes he is. He believes he's better than Carl. And he wants the chance to prove it when he's got it now. And that's why I think this fight's going to be so interesting. Great to see you here. Thanks very much indeed. Well, back to Mark now, who's with Team Froch. Well, you've seen many fights, Mum, Carol. What about that reception? It's an all-British fight, but we know, don't we, who they're supporting tomorrow? Oh, yes, definitely. There's only one person to support. Brother Lee, what do is? you reckon of that, that reception? Oh, it was like, fantastic. Like, it's, 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 He's become a massive superstar, so he's, he's a brilliant ambassador for the sport. He's a fantastic fighter and he's just going to smash Groves to bits, so I'm really looking forward to it. Stepdad Steve, yeah, everyone's in here, everyone's here for Carl, everyone's rooting for Carl. It's absolutely brilliant, mate, you know, on behalf of Nottingham and all the fans from Manchester and all around the country. I mean, Groves is in deep water, but he might look at the belt, so he ain't going to get his hands on him. Brilliant. OK, all the best for tomorrow night. The camp, in confident move, Natalie. So Carl and his wife Rachel cannot wait. Just time for me to wish the Leicester Tigers luck against London Irish tomorrow at Welford Road. And all the best to the Nottingham Panthers who have a European adventure this weekend. But it's going to be huge here in Manchester tomorrow. The big sporting event of the weekend. In 11 minutes the tickets sold out. 17,000 fans will be at the Manchester Arena as Carl Froch puts his two world titles on the line. Well, thanks to Natalie there. It's exciting. Fingers crossed for Carl. Not mm. that we need to have them crossed, I'm sure.